Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be going over different types of file edits that you can do with uh, depending on how the file is set up. So the files can be set up in three different ways. Um, I'm sure there's more, but these are the three common ways that files are set up here. Um, so let's say you have to adjust the, the slot tabs here for your material thickness. Some files will be ungrouped where you can actually select each one of these slots individually or the outside individually and make some edits. So let's say, for example, you want to make adjustments to these slots height here. I'm going to just highlight both at once and then we'll make the adjustment to the height to like a quarter inch. And then we'll do the same thing for this, and make it a quarter inch. And there we go. We've adjusted the slots in an ungrouped um, set uh, file type here. And then if you want to group them, you can go ahead and highlight them all, and then you can go up to Object and choose Group. But I'm not going to do that just for the sake of this to show you the difference between them. So basically, ungroup just means you can select each one individually here. Now, let's say you get a file that is grouped, um, and you, you can see that you can't select each one individually. It moves together here. Um, so what you have to do with this is you can go up to Object, choose Ungroup, and then now you can see it's now an ungrouped section. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to highlight that, move it down to a quarter inch. Um, same thing here. And now that we have that all um, changed, now you can highlight it all and go up to Object and choose Group again. And as you can see, it is now a grouped section that has been edited. So this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. Um, this is the compound path. So what this is, this is basically a grouped section that used the minus front feature to basically make it a cutout. Um, and what I mean by that is, so right here we have our group section. If I try to fill this, as you can see, it fills it solid black, including the little cutout lines here. Now, if you would use minus front, it would turn it into a compound path here. So for example, if I create fill, you can see how these are cut out here. Um, some people do that for their designs as well, which makes it a little bit more tricky to edit, but it's really not that hard. All you gotta do is select your design so it's highlighted like this, and then on the tab itself, just right click, make sure you're on the line, and choose Release Compound Path. And then that's all you gotta do. It is now basically an ungrouped file that you can now edit. So let's go ahead and edit that back down to a quarter inch just like we did with the other ones or whatever material height you need. So if you need less and you need like 1.25 inches, you can go down to 1.25. We'll just do that for this one for an example. And now you can either turn it back into a group section if you want, or you can turn it back into a compound path by clicking this minus front. If you don't have minus front over here, you can go to window, and then you can choose Pathfinder to get that to pull up. And then you'll just click that minus front when you have it all highlighted. And it's now a compound path again where it's all together, just like a grouped file. But if I would do a fill, you can tell the difference here between that and this. So that is pretty much it. Um, I'm going to turn this back to unfill. And that is, that is um, the difference between ungrouped, grouped files, and compound path files. There's a lot of different variations on why different designers use different ways. Um, but I wanted to show you the different ways you could actually edit the tabs because I've had some people ask some questions about this. So those are the three different ways that um, you can edit different laser file designs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new and we'll catch you guys next time.